Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Heavens Tutorial. Today we are going to study the first chapter of class 9th ICSC board, Introduction to Object Oriented Programming Concepts. First of all, what is software? You might have heard the word hardware and software. Basically, hardware refers to the physical element of computer. The computer, mouse, switchboard, or PC, CD, you can touch those things. Whereas, software is a virtual element of a computer. For example, Google, Gmail, the apps, they're software. This is the difference between hardware and software. Software, or you could say the apps, they consist of programming language. So now you know what is software and hardware. Next, let's come to the evolution of software. As I told you that software consists of programming language. The computer understands only the binary code that is mainly zeros and ones. It is quite hard to know. You need to knowledge about binary code. So it's, it is quite hard. So this is low level language, LLL. It consists of binary code that is zeros and ones, which is only understood by the computer. Next is high level language, HLL, which consists of English words or iterations like in Java programming that we will do later. So they are, these language, high level language, they are converted to low level language using compilers or interpreters. They are quite easy. You need to know just few rules and skills. So it is easy. Next is the first generation level language. First generation language uses the binary code that is zeros and ones and is also called as machine level language. You can see this is binary code. Next is second generation language. Second generation language uses assembly level language. It uses mnemonic codes. So the code that you write, that is called the high level language that we write, it is compiled it is changed to assembly level language using compilers or interpreters and that assembly language is converted to binary code which is understood by computer. So this is a second generation language. Next comes the third generation level language which uses compilers and interpreters. In this language, Java, C++, Python, etc. kind of language, they come in third generation level language. Next thing is fourth generation level language. It is a non-procedural language. For example, Focus, Nomad, Remis, these are kinds of languages and they're easy to learn and use. Next is fifth generation language, which is, which is used in artificial intelligence. You might have seen in movies Hollywood movies, hackers and cops, they use this kind of code, this, they use these kinds of language. So this is the third generation language. Next is programming paradigm. It means way of or style of programming. The way that you program that is. There are kinds of uh, programming paradigm, procedural programming, modular programming, object-oriented programming, structural programming, and other programming paradigm as well. So procedural or modular programming, it is a list of instructions where each statement tells the computer to do something. It basically uses algorithms. That is the difference between uh, object-oriented programming and procedural programming. Whereas object-oriented programming uses objects and not procedures. Now here see, the principles of OPs are very, very important as in the aspect of class 10 ICS examination. You need to know the definition and the examples because it carries two marks in your class 10 examination. So next is you need to know these two things, object and class. Object which has some specific characters or behavior, for example, car, bike, it has some characteristic. Car has four wheel, bike has two wheel, and class which is which share common characters like here here's a flow chart vehicles all the vehicles whether it is car bike or cycle it shares common properties that is of riding whereas car 
which has four wheels bike which has two wheels so they have specific properties now let's come to the principles of four piece first is encapsulation it refers to the wrapping of data or operations of functions into one single unit for example you have to perform two functions that is texting and calling and these two functions they are being wrapped up in one single unit that is mobile Mo through mobile you can text and call so that this is called as encapsulation likewise computer as well second thing is data abstraction or data hiding it refers to the act of representing essential features without including the background details of or explanations for example if you want to withdraw a lump sum of amount from atm you will get the amount but you don't know how the machine how the atm works that is called as data abstraction and it's a, it is also known as data hiding act next thing is inheritance this word is very popular you might know what is the meaning of inheritance that is a capability of one class of thing to inherit the capability of properties from another class this is a definition as in terms of computer for example family car brand alag ho sakte hain okay so that is inheritance inheritance consists of base class and derived class we're going to read it later let's come to next principle of ops that is polymorphism poly means many morphism means forms so in short it means many forms so a message or data that can process in more than one form that is called as polymorphism for example computer mobile functions the data it can be processed in more than one form that is called as polymorphism so as i told you the definition the examples they are really really important as in the prospect of 10th examination So next, as I told you, base class and uh, derived class inheritance. Base class is the class from which properties are being inherited, and derived class is the class which inherits the properties from base class. Hopefully, you have understood. Next thing is now what is important as in the perspective of class tenth. The definitions of all the properties, or you could say principles of OPs, are very very important. They carry two marks in every examination. 2019-2018. If you अगर आप लास्ट ईयर के पेपर देखोगे तो दो मार्क्स का हो गई होगा फर्स्ट सेकेंड या थर्ड क्वेश्चन सो दिस फॉर द वीडियो ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन आई सी एस सी बोर्ड एंड इफ यू अंडरस्टूड इट कम्प्लीटली क्लियरली लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स होपफुली दिस प्रेजेंटेशन हेल्प यू लॉ स्टे ट्यून एंड स्टे सेफ एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग